There are more questions tonight about how police in British Columbia handled the Robert Picton investigation, this time prompted by the release of video at the missing women's inquiry. It's from January of 2000, two years before the pig farmer would be charged with murder. Ian Hennemansing is on the story for us tonight. Ian. Peter, it's disturbing enough to see Robert William Picton questioned by police 12 years ago. Even more chilling to know afterwards he just walked away. Already the leading suspect in the case of Vancouver's missing women, it was a relaxed Robert William Picton who sat down with police. Do you drink? Oh no, no, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't use drugs, and everybody says, how can you guys sell room blood shadows? This tape is now public because it's evidence at this judicial inquiry, trying to find out whether police should have arrested Picton earlier. During the interrogation, investigators asked him about a vicious knife fight with a woman at his farm. I turned around, I didn't take the knife away from her. I did not take the knife away from her. I aimed it to her and I knifed her twice. I did that. I, I admit I did that. That's one thing I didn't, shouldn't have done. Two hours of questions, no incriminating answers. So you've never taken any of the prostitutes back to your trailer? Not since this incident, no. Hey. But before that incident? Nope, 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 nope. This now retired RCMP officer was watching the questioning as it took place back in 2000 and today said it was frustrating. It certainly wasn't a textbook case on how to do an interview. Lawyer Cameron Ward says the tape is in sharp contrast to another far more successful interrogation of a serial killer, Russell Williams. Uh, well, that was a textbook example of how to interrogate a, po a possible suspect. In Picton's case, it would be two more years before he was arrested. Had the interview been better handled, the result may well have been differently, and Mr. Picton may well have been prevented from murdering a number of women who died after that date. In hindsight, of course, these missed opportunities seem clear. Now the inquiry will have to determine whether they should have been obvious to police and prosecutors at the time. Peter? All right, Ian, thanks very much. Ian's in Vancouver tonight.